Hey guys, it's Adam with uh, Grey Ghost Tactical again, and uh, today I am reviewing the dog tag knife, the original dog tag knife. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, I've got it here, and it's a uh, right at two, well, inch and seven eighths maybe uh, long, and um, it's the size of a standard dog tag. The uh, as you can see it says attack rescue survive down here is a notch to strike a ferro rod which it actually comes with one and uh, it also comes with a compass and um, it slides into the dog tag holder like that um, it's got a chisel grind on this side here nothing on that and this side's supposed to be polished up enough that you could actually signal with it and that's what the hole is for um, this is the case it's a hard rubber plastic case and it just slides down sorry this is hard through the camera it slides down in through there so it protects the blade and then this is the chain that comes with it it's roughly uh, 22 inches long and it's supposed to be cor corrosion resistant but it's not if you can see down there the clasp is starting to um, uh, this color and this figure this right here is a regular standard rubberized dog tag silencer and um you can tell the difference in build quality on that one um is this knife sharp uh well no not really you could make it a lot sharper than what it was what it is um so what is this knife used for well this thing throws hellacious rods on a hellacious sparks on a ferro rod so that's what i primarily use it for just in case i lose my striker or whatever and it's nice and small could you signal with it yeah any piece of shiny metal you could signal with up to a degree um is it going to be your bushcraft knife and you're going to make spoons and stuff with it definitely not you may be able to scale a fish with this or do some light cutting task um primarily what i would use this for if this was all i had on me was like i said to strike a ferro rod and then to maybe process make a spear or something like that some other type of tool with um it's, it's very small very tiny hard to hold on to um so you're not going to be doing a hours and hours and hours of cutting with this and to be honest with you it's it's not even really that great of when you put an edge on it um but you know it's it was 14 bucks on Amazon, and um, it is a blade, and it will strike a ferro rod. And I assume that you will get a little bit of sparkle off of it if you shine it at the sun. So the chain I'm probably going to end up replacing, probably with a piece of paracord. I may get another ball chain. Um, if I do, it'll probably be a titanium one, so I can definitely, you know, definitely wear it without worrying about corrosion and stuff uh, I will say I've never had this in salt water I've never had this in fresh water or a pool I don't even take a shower with it I, it slips right over my big head and I can put it you know take it off before I go swimming or anything so the only thing that that chain's been in contact with is sweat um, but the actual piece is never and I'm not sure what kind of steel this is. Um, probably some type of stainless, if I had to guess. Um, as you can tell, it's got a high polish on it. There's my phone that I'm using. It's the uh, Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Uh, but like I said, you know, it's nice. Um, nice to have an, an extra blade on, and it's nice to have a extra striker for a ferro rod. I don't remember. I don't know if y'all remember, but I, uh, watching one of my previous videos, I carry a small, small ferro rod in my my wallet, and that's actually where I got it from was this kit, and it actually fits right there in that groove, and it'll strike it really, really nice. Um, so for 13 bucks, I guess you can't beat it. Um, who would I recommend this for? I would recommend this for anybody that goes out and does a lot of wood stuff, um, just to have a backup scraper. If you if you don't know how to use a ferrocium rod, or if you don't use one of those, 
and um, you know you're not out in the woods and not going to be signaling anybody then this is just a gimmick and it's not you're not going to see any use in that at all because the knife the blade on it is really not meant for much of anything it, it's sharpened but it's not like you can't shave with it and uh, it's not really comfortable to do any type of everyday cutting task um, well as always this is Grey Ghost Tactical signing out if you have any questions, comments, or any videos that you would like to see me review, please let me know in the um, comments below. Thanks.